Now we'll look at sequences, uh, our programs where we're going to add a series of numbers. Um, so the first program we're looking at here uh, is just a simple add the numbers from 1 to 100. Um, so just to kind of review, um, we're going to have a counter called C. Uh, we're going to start it at 1 because we want to add the numbers from 1 to 100. So we're going to start at 1. Um, we'll set up a while loop. It'll stop at 100. So as long as the count is less than or equal to 100, we'll keep going through the loop. And at the end of the loop, we have C++ uh, plus plus here, our increment, uh, that count. So we're going to get there by 1 each time. Um, and so we should get the result um, here uh, as a sum. Uh, don't forget, as we're adding our, our accumulator here, the sum, uh, we need to initialize it to 0. Uh, in C++ so we don't get something random out of uh, RAM. So let's go ahead and make sure this one works. So we'll execute, uh, compile, and run. And that gives us an answer. Uh, so the sum of numbers from 1 to 100 is 50-50. Uh, um, so we'll take a look at this program and let's change it up a little bit because we want to modify it so we can look at some other sequences. Uh, and maybe even, you know, do something where we say we identify the first and the last number in the sequence. So not a big deal here. Um, so let's uh, add um, a variable uh, that will keep track of the first uh, number we want to start with. So we're set right now, we'll keep it pretty much the same. I'm going to set first equal to 1. We'll test it for the same value since we know uh, our test value from 1 to 100 should be 50-50. So we'll start first at equal to 1 and go ahead and put a comment in here saying that's going to be the first number in the sequence. Uh, and then we need one for last and so we'll set that to 100. Okay. And so we'll initialize C uh, equal to first instead of 1. That way later on, now for again for this run, uh, first is 1. Uh, in the future, we could change it to a different sequence and test it for that. Uh, we also need to change um, the last uh, instead of 100 um, hard coded in there, or, or, the, or the constant value 100. We're going to change that to the variable last. Okay, so we're going to start uh, at first, uh, end at last, and then. Uh, we need to change this. It's not from 1 to 100 anymore. We're going to say from uh, first uh, to um, last. And notice how we have to alternate uh, variables uh, without the quotes and the literal strings uh, with the quotes. Um, and we'll go ahead and add an equal uh, in quotes there to say uh, first to last equals that sum. Okay, so let's see if this um, gets us where we want to be. I'll go ahead and compile and run this with our changes. And we get the same result like we expected. Uh, sum of numbers 1 to 100, so it doesn't look much different. Um, but if we went in and changed uh, this to say something like 50, and we execute that, we get the sum uh, from 1 to 50. And again, if we come in and change this to uh, something else like uh, 40 to 50, and we execute that, okay, we get the result for the numbers from uh, 40 to 50. Um, so just a different, you know, a little bit of change in the program, so it, it can do uh, a little bit more. Uh, we could add some user inputs to these to, to have the user. Um, change those values uh, or input them at the beginning. Um, but let's uh, go back and put 1 to 100. Um, what I want to see now is, well, that, that takes care of the sequence for um, numbers separated by 1. Uh, in other words, 1, 2, 3. What about if we want odd numbers or even numbers? Uh, we could add uh, in um, the difference between the numbers. Um, before I do that, I'm going to change um, where here we have the accumulator sum plus equals. It's kind of that shortcut notation. 
I want to change this to longhand. Um, doesn't really change the function of the program. Um, just to kind of spell it out a little bit more. So I'm going to take that away and say sum equals sum uh, plus C. Uh, and then I'm going to replace my C plus plus here uh, saying C equals C plus 1. Functionally the same. Um, no real difference here. Um, the reason I'm changing that is this difference is going to make uh, that plus 1 here uh, is going to be the difference. Um, and right now we're going by 1's. Um, so I'm changing to the longhand notation really so I can, I can what I'm going to do in just a minute here. So let's go ahead and add another variable called difference or diff uh, and we're going to go ahead and again test it for one so we're going to set that equal to one and that's going to be the difference between the numbers in the sequence and so now we've kind of set up here with the, the C equals C plus one I'm going to change one uh, to diff okay and again with just one uh, in the sequence we should test that and it should be uh, pretty much the same with with a difference of one and we get the same result like we would expect um, so now let's change that and say what if we want to go from let's say the odd numbers we would start at one the last number in the sequence would be 99 and then we're going to get there by 2. So in other words the next number in the sequence from 1 would be 3, the difference between those two is 2. Okay so we're going from 1 to 99 uh, getting there by 2 uh, that would be the odd numbers. Let's go ahead and uh, run that. We'll see we get uh, the answer 2500. I could have changed my, uh, I didn't really indicate odd numbers here, so, but we get the 2500, so the odd numbers from uh, 1 to 99. But you can imagine uh, here you can add that difference variable here and say from the first to last number by, uh, you know, with the difference of uh, 2. So I'll, I'll leave that to you to add that in uh, to indicate uh, we're doing every other number. Um, next thing I want to do is kind of look at a little bit different way of doing this and maybe convince you that learning a little bit of math uh, as a programmer is a good thing. So a guy named uh, Gao, as the story goes, uh, when he was in primary school, uh, a teacher gave him a similar problem uh, to say uh, add up all the numbers from 1 to 100. Uh, and so he started uh, writing this down uh, and kind of noticed a pattern. So as you start writing them out, uh, if you pair the numbers up, and we start here uh, going back the other way, but we still have all the numbers. Well, we skipped a little here, uh, but from 1 to 100, you kind of see the pattern. And if we start adding these up in pairs, uh, 100 plus 1 is going to be 101, 99 plus 2 is also 101 and so you start to see this pattern uh, where we end up with just a series of pairs of numbers that are all going to add up to 101. So we can simplify adding all the numbers from 1 to 100 uh, by just saying well how many of these 101's are we adding together? Well it's the same as, as the first uh, the number of, of half the series which is 50 uh, and that's going to be equal to our, our same answer we had in our program before. Uh, 50 times 101 is 5050. Um, so Gauss came up with a uh, very unique solution there. Uh, it comes out to a, a sequence formula like this where n represents the number uh, of elements in the sequence. Uh, so if we put in 100 there uh, and do the math, we get uh, the 5050. We can also take this and modify it a little bit uh, to fit what we were doing before with our program uh, where we don't want to just go by the number of elements but what's the first element and the last element. So if we put F's and L's in here and we say L is the last number, F is the first number, uh, this, is, this kind of gives us a formula for our series. Um, and then just like we added in the difference before, uh, we want to look at uh, D. Uh, being the difference. So if we use this formula uh, we can essentially get the sum uh, and without resorting to uh, loops. 
If we take a look at our program, uh, applying the formula we, we saw um, just before, we can simplify this a little bit and actually do this uh, without uh, a loop. Uh, and we'll just put in that one formula uh, just like that. So it makes the uh, program really short. Uh, let's execute this and see if we get the, the same answer. Compile and run. And there it is, 2500, same uh, same result, uh, a little bit simpler solution, so uh, a little bit of math uh, can be uh, helpful sometimes in programming. Uh, so hopefully you found this helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time.